Good day everyone! Thanks be to God for opportunity na makapag-discuss tayo ng panibagong topic. We have here Kramer's Rule. So this particular topic, we are going to use our knowledge and determinants in solving for a system of linear equation. Let us proceed. For a system of two linear equation, in two unknown, we will use yung ating second order determinants. If we have a given equation, we have here equation number 1, in equation number 2, and we all know that A, lahat ng A, lahat ng B, and lahat ng C is a numerical value. Where your A and B, that is the, the numerical coefficient of our variable X and Y. Where yung ating X and Y, that is the variable na kailangan nating hanapin. Okay? Let us proceed. How to solve for the values of X and Y using yung determinants? So, we have a formula that we are going to use. The value of x is equal to dx over d and the value of y is equal to dy over d. Where, yung ating d, that is the determinants of the elements na kukunin natin sa, yung, sa numerical, which is yung numerical coefficient ng variables mo. Okay? Yung a, b, Yung A1 and B1, yung A2 and B2, that is came from the numerical coefficient of X and Y ng ating first and second equation. Okay? And ito yung A1, B1, A2, and B2. Okay? So, what is DX? DX naman, we will going to replace yung position ng lahat ng A. Yung numerical coefficient ng Xs natin, ipapalit mo naman yung constant value which is yung C1 and C2. Kaya, instead of A1 and A2, ipapalit mo yung constant mo which is yung C1 and C2. Yun yung dx natin. Then, solve for the value of the determinants of D and dx. The same thing with this dy. Instead of B1 and B2, yung position ng y mo, ipapalit mo yung constant. Okay? Papalit mo yung C1 and C2 dun sa position ng numerical coefficient ng y's. Hopefully, this is clear. Then, solve for the value of dy. Then, after that, ipalit mo na dun sa ating formula. Ipalit mo yung dx, ipalit mo yung d, ipalit mo yung dy, ipalit mo yung d. Makukuha na natin yung values ng unknown, which is yung ating x and y. Okay, let us proceed. Sa example, hopefully yung aking simple explanation dun sa first part is maliwanag. Let us apply dito sa ating example number 1. So, if we have this uh, equation, two equation and two unknown, so therefore, we will use yung ating second order determinants. So, we have x plus 2y is equal to negative 5. x minus 2y is equal to 3. So, first, sulat ko muna again yung ating formula. Para masanay tayo. So, we have here x. Yung ating x is equal to dx over d. Yan. And yung ating y, that is equal to dy over d. Then, find the value of d, dx and dy. So, unahin natin muna yung d. What is d? That is the determinants of the elements which is galing dun sa coefficient ng variables natin. Yun yung coefficient ng x and y from our first equation and second equation. So, yung first row, kukunin natin yan dun sa numerical coefficient ng first equation. Yung x mo is 1. Yung y mo, numerical coefficient is 2. Okay? Kung baga, this is your... Your A1 here is 1, A2, B1 here is equal to 2. Okay? Next. What is the numerical coefficient of X from the second uh, from the second equation? 1 again. Numerical coefficient of Y, which is negative 2. Yan. So, ito na yung ating A1. Diba? A1, B1, A2, B2. Okay? This is our A1, B1, A2, B2. Galing yan sa numerical coefficient ng x and y from first equation, yung 1 and 2, and galing naman yung 1 and negative 2 dun sa second equation, which is 1 and negative 2, yung numerical coefficient ng variables. 
and solve for the value of B. Okay? So, in solving for the value of B, yung ating Leibniz method, yung ating conventional uh, methods in solving for the determinants. So, 1 times negative 2 and subtracted by 1 times positive 2. That is the value of B. So, here, let us solve 1 times negative 2 and this is subtracted by 1 times 2. 1 times 2. And this is equals to negative minus 2. Negative 2 minus 2 is equals to negative 4. So, we have already the value of B. Yun yung ating divisor dun sa ating unknown. So, next thing to solve is yung ating dx. What is dx? So, just replace yung position ng lahat ng x's ng ating constant. So, instead of 1 and 1, ipapalit mo yung negative 5 and 3. So, yung x mo na is equals to negative 5 and 3. And yung positioning ng y mo, which is yung 2 and negative 2, i-copy mo lang. Hindi mo siya gagalawin. Negative 2 and 2. Because we are solving here yung value ng ating dx. Yung term na, D, na x. This is negative 2. And proceed dun sa ating determinants. This subtracted by this. Okay? So we have negative 5 multiplied by negative 2 and subtracted by 3 multiplied by positive 2. So, ang sagot dito is equal to negative, positive 10 minus 6 that is positive 4. Yan. Okay na tayo sa D and DX. Next, yung DY naman ang isolve natin. So, what is the value of DY? DY is equals to So, yung position ng X, ibabalik mo. Okay, copy mo ulit yung X. 1 and 1. And yung positioning mo ng coefficient mo ng y, ipapalit mo yung constant. Okay? Instead of 2 and negative 2, ipapalit mo yung constant mo which is negative 5 and 3. Ipalit mo na yung negative 5 and 3 doon sa position ng y mo. Negative 5 and 3. Yan. This is equals to. Again, solve for the determinants of this minus this. So this is equals 2, 1 multiplied by 3 minus 1 multiplied by negative 5. So this is equal to 3 plus 5, that is 8. Then solve for the value of x and y. Dito na sa ating equation. Dito na sa taas. Baguhin ko lang yung kulay. So the value of our x here is equal to dx over d. What is your dx? dx is 4. So this is 4 over d. What is your d? d is equal to negative 4. This is negative 4. So therefore, the value of our x is equal to negative 1. Now, solve for the value of y. dy is equal to 8. So 8 over d is equal to negative 4. Negative 4. Therefore, the value of our y is equal to negative 2. We have already the value of our x and y using yung ating Kramer's rule in solving for the linear system of linear equation. Okay? So, hopefully, this is clear. Solve na natin yung ating next example, yung 3 equation, 3 unknown. Okay? So, let us proceed. Let us solve example number 2. So we have here, solve the system of this linear equation. We have three equations and we need to solve for the three unknowns here. To solve for the value of x, y, and z. So first thing to do is to write first yung ating magiging formula. x will be equals to dx over d. And to solve for the value of y, we have dy over d. And lastly, yung ating value ng z will be dz and this over d. So we need to determine 
meron tayong D, DX, DY, and DZ. Meron tayong apat na determinants na solution. So, let us first solve, solve for the value of D, yung ating determinants ng lahat ng elements using yung ating numerical coefficient of all the variables. So, from the first row, you need to take the numerical coefficient ng lahat ng variables mo. Yung first row natin, magkakaroon tayo ng 2, negative 3, and negative 1 na entries or elements. So, we have 2, negative 3, and negative 1. Next, yung ating second row will be came from dun sa ating uh, numerical coefficient naman ng second equation. So, 1, 3, and positive 3. 1, 3, and positive 3. And last row natin, galing naman yan dun sa lahat ng numerical coefficient ng variable natin dun sa ating third equation, which is equal to negative 2, negative 1, and positive 1. Then proceed in solving this using yung ating Leibniz method, determinants natin. Okay? So copy yung ating first Yung first and second column natin dito, we have 2, 1, and negative 2, and negative 3, negative, positive 3, and negative 1. Ulit-ulit lang yung magiging solution natin dito. So, hopefully, you will find this easier in solving for the values of uh, variables dito sa ating system of linear equation. So, let us now proceed to sa ating simplification. So, this is equals to 2 times 3 times 1. So, 2 times 3 times 1. Then, plus negative 3 times positive 3 and times pos uh, negative 2. Okay? Negative 2. Negative 2. Then plus again. Negative 1 times 1 times negative 1. So we have negative 1 times 1 times negative 1. Okay? And isubtract mo naman lahat ng araw natin baba. So ito, i-add mo lahat to. And you will subtract by itong lahat naman ng arrow goes up. So this is times negative 2 by 3 and negative 1. Okay? Then, plus, negative 1 times 3 times 2. So, negative 1 times 3 and times positive 2. And the last part, 1 times 1 times negative 3. We have 1 times 1 times negative 3. Yan. So, I will do the shortcut for this. The value of all this uh, determinant is equals to positive 28. This is equals to 28. So, we have already the value of D, yung ating divisor dito. Okay? So, find the value of D, X, D, Y, and D, Z. After that, you can already solve for the value of X, Y, and Z. So, let us solve for the value of DX. Yung DX natin, yung lahat ng numerical coefficient ng excess mo will be replaced by the constant. Kaya instead of 2, 1, and negative 2, ang magiging kapalit noon will be 9, 5, and 3. Okay? So since meron tayong guide dito sa taas, copy ko na lang yung ating D, palitan ko na lang ng DX. So this is equal to DX. Yan. DX. So, instead of 2, 1, and negative 2, papalitan natin siya ng 9, 5, and 3. Okay? Yung entry ng excess natin. So, 9, 5, and 3. Then, copy yung last two columns natin. So, negative 3, and positive 3, and negative 1, negative 1, 3, and 1. Okay? Then, find the determinants of this. So, alam nyo na ang pag-solve kung paano ang determinants. You have already the guide dito sa pag-solve natin sa D, dito sa first part. So, using yung ating uh, Leibniz method again to solve for the value of dx, this must be equals to 
56. Okay? Ito value ng ating dx. For dy, we have here, dy is equals to, you need to replace naman yung lahat ng numerical coefficient ng y ng constant again. So, I will uh, put a markings here or yung legend natin. Ito yung ating original na value ng x, y, and z. This is the numerical coefficient. Diba? Yung 953, that is the constant. So, yung dx natin, since nag-solve tayo ng dx, kaya pinalatan natin yung lahat ng excess by the constant, yung 9, 5, and 3. Same thing ang gagawin natin sa dy. So, dy, copy muna uli yung original values ng 2, ay, ng x to 1 and negative 2. Then, replace yung lahat ng numerical coefficient ng y ng constants. So, we have here 9, 5, and 3. Then, copy yung numerical coefficient ng z. Negative 1, 3, and 1. Then proceed dun sa simplification using yung ating determinants. And this is equal to negative 84. Okay? Kaya kung makapansin nyo, nag-solve kayo ng dx, yung lahat ng x pinalatan na constant. Nag-solve tayo ng dy, yung uh, numerical coefficient naman ng y, pinalatan naman natin na constant. O ganun din ang gagawin natin sa dz. Okay, we have dz. dz here, i-copy mo ulit yung numerical coefficient ng x mo, which is 2, 1, and negative 2. Yung y mo, ito pa rin yung original y mo, which is negative 3, 3, and negative 1. But, yung ating z, di ba ang z natin is neg like negative 1, 3, and 1? Uh, negative 1, 3, and 1. So, ipalit mo na yung constant naman. So, constant, which is 9, 5, and 3. So, that that's the solution in solving for the value of dx, dy, and dz. Ipapalit mo lahat ng constant doon sa positioning ng variables mo na hinahanap mo. So, this is equals to 112. This is the value of dz, dy, and dx. So now, you can solve already for the value of your x, which is equals to dx over d. What is dx? dx is 56. Over d, ang d natin, yung una natin nakuha, which is equals to 28. So we have 28 here. 28 divided by 28. So the value of our x is equals to 2. Then the value of our y, the value is equals to dy. What is dy? dy is negative 84. And divided by d again, which is uh, positive 28, this is negative. Right? This is negative ilan? 3. Ilan. How about z? Uh, yung dz naman, and this is multi, uh, divide this by yung d. Or this is equal to 112, yung ating dz, over 28. Okay? So, this is equals to. So, the value of this is equals to 4. So, ang value mo ngayon ng variable x, variable y, and variable z is equal to 2, negative 3, and positive 4. Okay? Hopefully, makatulong to sa atin in solving, o nagdagkaalaman, in solving for the linear uh, equation, yung system of linear equation natin. It's either two unknowns pa yan, three unknowns pa yan, or possibly, ang possible pa, pwede pang magbigay ng four equation for unknown. So you can solve that using naman yung ating fourth order determinants. So alam nyo na yung pag-solve doon kasi natapos na tayo doon sa ating fourth order determinants. So hopefully, makatulong to sa atin. Additional knowledge to in solving for the system of linear equation. Maraming salamat ulit sa inyong pagsasalang panunood at pakikinig dito sa ating short uh, topic na Kramer's Rule. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat at muli, shout out sa lahat ng C3. Okay? At pati na sa lahat ng engineering student na nanonood nitong uh, simple and short video natin. Okay? Thank you sa lahat and have a good day and keep safe everyone.